Hello, this is John, AE5X, and before I play the video of my park activation of uh, yesterday, June 1st, 2019, I wanted to show what I now use to hang an antenna in a tall tree. What I used to use with a quadcopter is this setup here. It's a battery, a receiver, and a servo. The servo would um, haul up a fishing weight, like one or two ounces, with a line attached and then I would activate the transmitter that would cause the receiver to tell the servo to open and it would drop the weight and the line. Um, this was zip tied to the drone. It looked like this and it's not expensive. Well I thought it wasn't expensive at the time. The whole thing is about $74 for all these components and of course you have to have a sep separate transmitter to actuate the uh, receiver on board the uh, payload dropping device, for lack of a better term. And all this stuff is big, it's cheap because it's from China, but it's big, it's fairly heavy, and uh, about two months after using this, I found out about a different solution, so I wanted to show that today. And this is how the drone looks now, quite a bit different uh, than the last one you saw. This is the receiver, the battery, and the dropping device all in one. It weighs less, it's uh, not as bulky, and it even costs less. And the transmitter, I may have to zoom in on it, is right there. Simple, an on-off switch and a push button to actuate the servo. Let me show you that. Turn on the receiver, turn on the transmitter, and hit the push button. Reliable, perfect, lightweight. Um, it's a great solution. So uh, let me show you how that operates here on the ground, then we'll go to the park. Okay, I'm at the park now and flying up about uh, 140 feet. The, t the trees are about 120 feet tall, but I like to be above them probably 20 or 30 feet in order to let the weight gather momentum to drag the line down through any branches that it has, has to fall through. Um, you can see the line there as I'm looking down with the camera and the weight also. It's a one and a half ounce weight that I'm using. And I fly over the tree and drop it. There it goes. And then back down through the same gap in the trees that I went up through. And that's me down there, the pale blue dot. And uh, coming on down, you can see the lake in the background, Lake Livingston. And the antenna is almost vertical. It's a PAR in-fed MTR antenna for 20, 30, and 40 meters. I think it's about 70 feet long and it's almost completely vertical, which is what I wanted. And I'm located next to a picnic table, you'll see in a second. And that's where I set up the RG01, the battery pack, paddles, uh, the laptop for logging, and even a microphone. Unusual for me. You'll see a lot of phone coming up, but I operate mostly CW. Here we go. Whiskey Alpha 5 Sierra Whiskey Victor. Good morning. You're 5959 into Park 3028. QSL? USL, QSL. The name here is Al Alpha Lima. QTH is the state of New Mexico. New Mexico, you are 59. Over. Okay, thanks for the 59 into uh, New Mexico. I'm uh, using a vertical dipole here and it seems to be doing okay. Thank you for the contact. Whiskey 9 Alpha Victor, good morning. You're 5 9 into Park 3028. Uh, QSL, you're about a 5 7 into Wisconsin, 73. Okay, thanks for Wisconsin, 73s and QRZ from Alpha Echo 5 X ray. Yeah, Whiskey Alpha 2, Whiskey Alpha Papa, John. Uh, my name is Dave in Albany, New York. You're a good 5 9 signal up here, over. Okay, thanks very much, Dave. Good to hear. Uh, you're 5 by 9 also at Lake Livingston, Texas, um, part number 3028. QSL? 
3028, and uh, good luck today. Uh, you got a lot of those uh, Kentucky guys uh, moving in on you there. 73. Yeah, I may have to move down to CW soon and find out if there's a, more room there or uh, 40 meters. Anyway, 73, and thanks for the contact. Victor Alpha 7, Alpha Quebec, good morning. This is Alpha Echo 5 X-ray. You are 5 by 9 into Park 3028 QSL. Roger, roger. Thank you for a new one. You're 5 by 5. 55, Mega City of Vancouver. Roger. QSL on the 3028, John. Thank you very much. You are 5 by 7 into Kansas. And thank you so much.